Okay, so I have decided I am going to do, I well, I was cleaning off my desk, okay, um, down in my craft room, and I came across these papers, and I was lazy and everything, and I'm like, I knew I needed to do a layout today, because I promised on my last blog that I would do a layout today. I didn't get the cut file one that I wanted to do done. So, but I was cleaning off my desk and I saw these scrap papers and I thought, well, they kind of go together in a way. So I thought, well, maybe I could take these pieces and turn them into like a crazy layout. I call it like a, like, you know, like a patchwork quilt, you know, like a crazy quilt. So this is like a crazy quilt of scrap papers. And I made it into a 12 by 12 size. And I did back it with some cardstock just to give it a little bit more stability. But um, yeah, so I took those one, two, three, four, five, five colored papers, because I thought they kind of went together. They're not perfect, but they went. And then I took this, um, Oh, it was from Recollections. I know that it was a six by six paper pad and it was like embossed. It's a white embossed and um, you can add inks and paints and stuff like that to it. So I thought I would do a little bit of, um, oh, what is it called? Just um, ink, ink dabbing, ink, ink drawing, ink lines, <laughs> stamp using my ink pads and I'm well you can't really see it because I didn't have it in frame right here but I'm just taking my ink pads and I'm using the um the yellow mango melody mango melody lovely lipstick and balmy blue and um I'm just going down and when you get closer, you can see that it looks like flowers on it. But I'm just using that and just running it um, down the sides of the, or running it down the paper, the whole ink pad. And just, and oh, I had to take a break right there and go rescue my book cover because the puppy got a hold of it. I hope my book is still in one piece. So, and now I am using the lovely lipstick and I'm going to do a line down with that and I'm trying to find out where I am at in this video I keep scrolling scrolling down oops past it okay so, I used the lovely lipstick, and I'm still out of screen, I just like, I like my Osmo tripod, but it's hard to get a good, so, and I'm in my pajamas, I'm in my nice warm pajamas. So, yeah, now I'm using the balmy blue. To go down the last little bit and I'm having a hard time getting it open so it's not that side I know I'm on the right side so okay we're gonna do this but that's how I always get my fingers dirty that way but it is what it is so I add the blue and I'm like oh I don't know if I should have blow dried it or not but I don't think I messed up my ink pads or anything it didn't look like any other color got onto it so, but I kind of like how it turned out, and the I like the blue the best. The blue turned out the prettiest, I think. So, I just wish you could tell the details on it a little better. So, I don't know why these ink pads are so hard to close and open, but they were kind of hard to open. So yeah, there it is. Um, now I'm letting it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to go 
put my layout together and figure out how I want it. And I think I'm going to speed this process up because it gets kind of lengthy and boring because I just go through a bunch of my ephemera and I pick out little pieces. I'm using this picture of David, which I have no idea when we took it or where we took it, but it, it has David looking kind of crazy. He's not crazy though, but it was just a fun moment, I guess. And the picture was in the moment. And um, so we snapped it and um, yeah, he's got kind of a wild look there. But, yeah, it's okay. So I'm going to fast forward it now and let you guys see all the pretty embellishments and ephemera and layering that I do on the rest of it. Okay, I guess we're recording now. Um, so... Yep. So I'm picking out my layering papers and my embellishments and my ephemera and I decided I'm going to do the background a little bit wonky and the picture kind of maybe a little wonky the other way. It's kind of how it turned out anyway. So I wanted it more straight but it kind of turned out wonky anyways. So um, I know I want the green and the yellow cardstock on either side because I think it just offsets the patterns from the patterns and um, so it just needs some plain colored papers in there to um, give it a little more depth I guess and um, I only brought up my zig glue pen so I gotta stick everything down with the zig glue pen because I brought this upstairs from my craft room so I could work upstairs. You ever do that? Like you have a craft room but then you get lonely working in your craft room all the time so you wind up doing your work at the dining room table because it's just where everybody is. It's where, I don't know, it just feels lonely down in the craft room. <laughs> so anyways, I'm working at my dining room table which is a mess. I haven't cleaned it off but um, I like working at the dining room table. So, I get that layered down and I put the picture on there and then I have this like backing from some kind of packaging. Um, I don't remember what packaging it was from but it made a good white background so um, it kind of had the texture of a of a photo paper. But um, it worked good. It worked good as a background paper, so I used it. And it's kind of glossy, so it kind of stood out. So, and there's my photo. I'm going to glue that on. To my layering papers. So... There. It turned out pretty good. I'm going to lay down the whole thing, glue it down, plunk it down. I'm using my Zig Glue Pen. This is, I like my Zig Glue Pen. I think I would be lost without Zig Glue Pens because they're my go to if I don't have any wet adhesive or if I've left my tape runner you know, behind, like I left my tape runner downstairs, but I love my Zig Glue Pen. So now I'm picking out some embellishments. I have a little box over there that I keep putting stuff in. I had a bunch of stuff in there at Christmas time, and I keep adding stuff. I get this swag bag from Paper Issues every month, and um, a lot of the stuff from Paper Issues, that swag bag goes into that little box. And so I just try and use up what I put into that box so I've got like some um, like not three by four like two by three cards in there and some you know paper of different pattern papers and um, I thought oh maybe nope didn't like that because I thought that might would make a good journaling card but it was kind of big and I thought that was a sticker but it's not I think it's a piece of acetate 
put the word on it and it looks kind of good there but I'm not sure if I still want it there I didn't do I want a heart on there but the heart didn't really go so yeah, the tag didn't really go it was too patterny for the other pattern paper so I like no I don't like the flowers up there I like the doily right there and I like the I like the doily and I like the um, brown paper. That brown paper is uh, from Paper Issues, one of the from the swag bag, and it had a phrases on it. But one of the phrases says, "You make me smile," and I like the little watermelon. And so I'm just going through it and trying to trying out little bits and pieces. Some stuff I don't like. I just have to go through it and find out I like this it says live in the moment and that was like it was like perfect for that photo because that's exactly what he was doing at the time was living in the moment and then I found this one that said enjoy enjoy your day or something no en enjoy yourself like that and I like the there and I do go through the whole box trying to find a hay and I you'll see at the end I could not find the hay but I used something else and one of my puppies is whining and I'm not quite sure who Cosmo are you whining what's the matter did you eat something again I don't know, this dog is into everything. I keep having to rescue my book tonight because he keeps wanting to tear it up. So, I'm still going through and finding little bits and pieces. So I thought, mm, I could use that up there for Darling. And I'm like, no, don't like that either. Um... And you'll see, I pretty much go through this whole box. Like, do I like the sun up there with a the flower on it? I eventually take that away too because it just, it just doesn't go. So still going through it. Like, I, I do have a lot of pieces in there. Ooh, there's something. It's a moose. I punch these out with the Stampin' Up! Punch at Christmas and a bunch of and I really like the buffalo plaid moose so I stuck him up there at the top and moose is like mine and his thing since we got married and we went straight to Alaska and his last name is Moosock that's kind of how you're supposed to pronounce it and um so we just have always collected moose so I kind of like that flower ephemera right there, that little piece of flower ephemera, but I wind up, I don't think I wind up using that either. I think I do another. So just going through more little pieces. See, I take that away. But this is the fun part of doing the layout is just finding, finding the ephemera and stuff. Just the little bits and pieces that you just want to put on your layout just to make it to make it mean something to you to, to help you tell your story so a washi tape in there more bits and pieces so oh and then I thought oh here's something I could like do a little cluster of an and and I'm like no I don't like the and I like this little sign here that says road to happiness I think that's what it said and I can layer it so I thought well maybe I could do a little cluster up in the corner which I wind up moving and then I find a crazy a word that says crazy I'm like oh that's kind of perfect for this and I find a little shake which that was kind of a weird piece so I found a paper a paper cup and I lay that down instead 
Um, what else? Yes, just picking out a bunch. What did I find up there? I think I found a flower. Like a yellow flower. So I thought, mm, maybe I'll keep it up there and see what it looks like. So, I guess I got it mostly laid out. So there, I turned the camera off and I came back on and this is how I got it all laid out.